trying not to cry now. <laughs> and I thought the best way to honor daddy would be to make my brothers do the work. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Half of y'all don't know this, but these no good boys used to shuffle for pennies on Sunday. <laughs> Call themselves the A B C D E F. <laughs> See, altar boys come oh, dancing, dancing every, every day. day. For God. <laughs> <laughs> They're adorable. <laughs> shoes are tight. Oh, the shoes is fine. It's the feet that's fat. Damn. <laughs> Uh, Y'all, that's a little dangerous. I don't really mess with heights. Even if it comes with a great view. Remember that day I got taller than you? Always bringing that up. Shot up like a nut all oak. Daddy said I was gonna look down on you for the rest of the day. <laughs> Half an inch. That was a good month, that month. Oh, that one month. <laughs> I think you should get married next. Do we now? And you should marry Hazel. Hazel? Who that? The one you were dancing too close with. If you dance that close, you ought to be married. You still doing business with that man, Lestat? Nah, didn't work out. That's good. Because he the devil. You think everyone's the devil. He's here to take souls. He told me so. He spoke to me without moving his lips. He got tricks is all. Mortal sin. Louis, what trick? What kind of trick? <laughs> Mother made a good party for Grace. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they're going to talk about this one for years. Yeah. I love you, Louis. I love you too, baby brother. Paul. Paul! Paul! Okay. Wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Utterly destroyed. I was at the funeral home. That fucked me up. Everything is going as it should. Good men there. Promised me that you must have said something to him, Louie. You must have said something to him to make him do that to himself. Okay, we really can't go with the blame. Are we serious right now? And you, you always had to have the last word, didn't you, Louie? You always had to take him down a peg. Oh, oh, girl. What did you say to him? Why was you even up there? Watching this hunk of my mama. You don't get past the gates? If and you kill yourself. Don't you know that? Paul gone down the other way. Paul's in hell because of you. Wow. Wow. And do you ever expect him to ever get over you saying that one sentence and totally breaking his entire heart? What was Paul's life worth to them? What was my life worth? The big man of Liberty Street trailing the satin-lined evidence of his failure. Easy prey for the discerning predator. Lestat, not the, not the time, not the place, bruh. Not the time, not the place. And elegant. I wait on my balcony every night. You've been avoiding me. I have been and Miss occupied. Lily proved herself a poor substitute, and I don't take kindly to it's being avoided. It's my brother's avoided. funeral. Believe me when I tell you, your brother longed for that flag stuff. Lestat, what, what the fuck, fuck bruh? I got it, boss. But damn, you know what? I guess you can do whatever you want to. Whatever. The sermon that was given, I could not hear. 
I could not join the transformation of those. He would not let me. Come to me. Come to me. Walk you home, Mama? No. Thank you. Love you. Do you mind? Of course, Mama do like. Okay, well, fuck. <laughs> she meant that, and it hurt me too. See you back at the wake? Come to me. What's that, bro? <laughs> I did not go to the wake. No one blames you. I don't blame you. I wanted to grieve alone. But he would not allow it. Come to me, Louis. My heart broke when I heard of your brother's passing. Miss Liv. Oh, my dear. I don't care if she's busy with someone. I pay more. Cause I like Miss Liv. And I need Miss Liv. Miss Lily died, Mr. Dulac. What, my girl? Two weeks ago. Police found her under the docks. Listen, at. did you really have to kill my girl Lily, though? She was just down for a good time. She didn't hurt nobody. <laughs> but at this point, I'm not surprised that Lestat would go after someone that Louie actually had, like, affection for. Help me, please. He's in my head, father. The devil is in New Orleans. Bless me, father, if I have sinned, grievously Eight. sinned. Sign of the cross, son. I'm a drunk, Lord. I'm a liar. I'm a thief, Lord. I profit off the miseries of other men and I do it easy. Drugs, liquor, women. And I lie to myself saying that I, I'm giving them roof and food and dollar bills in their pocket. But I look in the mirror, I know what I am. The big man in the big house. The shot. in my ears so I can't hear their cry. And Lord, I drag my family into this mess with me. I, I failed my brother. No, son. I lost my mother and sister and rather than fix it like a man should lord i run like a coward i i lay down with a man i lay down with the devil and he has roots in me all his spindly roots in me and i can't think nothing anymore sir you better act help me Also, Lestat, your flair for the dramatic, sweetie. God heard you, Louis. Do you not see how unworthy he is? How can you humiliate yourself like this? Wow. And once again, religion has triggered Lestat. <laughs> okay, we'll live. He did. Cut short that magnificent life she was living. What a tragedy. I give death to those deserving. I'm not the devil. You were wrong about that. But I can't give you death. Oh shit. Well, that's it for you, sir. You gotta go. You messed up his speech. You gotta go. Damn. And then you fell. I'm sorry. Uh, next victim. I'm sorry. You don't deserve this. Probably not. And yes, shot, you better work. I love how they're doing that because it totally makes sense that it would seem like everything else is moving in slow motion to him because he's moving so fast. Oh shit! <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. I am just surprised. What the fuck? Listen. This primitive country has been too clean. All these roles you conform to, and none of them your true nature. Damn. What rage you must feel as you choke in your sorrow. The first time I laid eyes on you, your beautiful face, I saw that sorrow. I can take 
take away that sorrow, Louis. I can give you that death, you begged your feeble, blind, degenerate, non-existent god for. Ones are getting triggered. <laughs> but I, I can swap this life of shame. Swap it out for a dark gift and a power you can't begin to imagine. You just have to ask me for it. You just have to nod your beautiful head and say yes. I mean, at this rate. I love you, Louis. You are loved. I send my love to you. And you send it back round to me. It is difficult to explain how his words disarmed me. Early. For the <laughs> first time in my life, I was seen. Be my companion. Why do I feel like this is love bombing, though? He kind of me. To the very threshold of death. Oh, he's so pale. I mean, green. I'll be green and gray. And then a pound. Like the pounding of a drum. And then. There came a pounding of another drum, <laughs> as if another giant were coming behind it. As the color floods back into his face. Drum, and then the other drum. Oh. Oh. I opened my oh. eyes, and it was then that I realized the drum was my heart, and the other drum had been his. I saw him sitting a length away from me. Radiant. In throes of increasing wonder. Did nobody hear the screams coming from the church house? At the end. The beginning. Yeah. They got me. I looked. Cause dug on it. That was a good pilot episode. That was a good episode. And I'll tell you why, because the level of toxicity between Lestat and Louis already is off the charts. It's gross, it's nasty. I don't like it, I don't stand it. However, comma, this is fiction and media. And so I'm about to eat this up. I'm about to lap this up. Lestat is an a-hole in almost every single scene that he's in. But the man's got flair and I like it. And Louis is beautiful. And I was like, yes, when he was confessing his sins, it was like, yeah, check, 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 check. But also, Louis, you're like a good person and you were a good brother to Paul and to Grace. And RIP Paul, that messed me up, I wasn't ready. A lot happened, but like I'm pumped about it and not completely emotionally like a wreck in the corner. That episode was a wild ride. So I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. Uh, thank you for being here, watching it with me. And uh, before you go, on your way out, if you could do me a quick favor, please like, subscribe, ring that bell for post notifications. Follow me on all my social media so I can see you next time with another one. Bye, y'all.